be a meeting today, my dear, to uh, discuss the uh, status of the of our uh, propaganda campaign to shield her cosine from both negative criticism and uh, prosecution and uh, your delivery of the script. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> your delivery of the State of the Union address was an excellent first start in the right direction. <laughs> to quote your script, uh, banks had made huge bets and bonus and bonuses with other people's money. Regulators had looked the other way. Well, <laughs> of course, the Corsine made huge bets, not just with other people's money, but with the proceeds he obtained fraudulently. <laughs> and of course, Vivil ensures that the regulators do look the other way. <laughs> and uh, again, to fairface your script, uh, it was wrong, it was irresponsible, leaving hard-working uh, Americans holding the bag. Well... <laughs> And her course I certainly was wrong and was irresponsible and uh, he certainly left uh, hard working Americans holding the bag. But but the best part of your script, my dear, was uh, was this part uh, it's time to apply the same rules from top to bottom with highly trained investigators to crack down on large scale fraud and protect people's investments. <laughs> so, uh, you, we may want the same rules from top to bottom, and yeah, that's uh, certainly a good thing that her cosine's conduct was over the top. I mean, uh, that script would make her girls blush, man. Yeah, the script was perfect, though, for providing the appearance of justice. <laughs> but of course, uh, as a former head of the Federal Reserve, <laughs> I mean, now. Uh, uh, as the former head of Goldman Sachs, I get the two confused sometimes, my dear. And uh, as the former Democratic senator from the state of New Jersey, and as the former Democratic governor of the state of New Jersey, yeah, uh, he is certainly more equal than others. <laughs> if you know what I mean, my dear. And of course, certainly the uh, last thing we want uh, is for this to be a. Uh, Nation of laws, my dear, uh, especially laws applied equally. I mean, I mean, after all, my dear, if we can't bail out our friends and family from uh, various predicaments, and uh, what's the use of being in power, my dear? Uh, uh, but isn't the press uh, going to report on Corzine's blatantly fraudulent conduct? Fought your support the state has been fought and paid for <laughs> by Wall Street banks and the Federal Reserve and uh, even more more fortunate, my dear, is that you as a constitutional attorney have uh, been so remarkably adept at uh, gutting the Constitution thus far. You are you are, you are the czar of signing statements, my dear, and. Uh, for your instructions, uh, the holder will never initiate a prosecution and, uh, uh, at, over at, uh, as Attorney General, and uh, uh, her Gensler at uh, CFTC will never sanction uh, her cosign. Uh, after all, after all, my dear, they were partners in, in crime at Goldman Sachs, and uh, so all we uh, really need to do is uh, improve uh, her cosign's image, and... Uh, in front of you, yes, I have exceptionally Machiavellian propaganda plan that uh, will make uh, will make him appear a sympathetic figure in this uh, tragedy. Uh, but is propaganda uh, really well, propaganda? Is exceptionally uh, powerful, Monsieur. Uh, Observe the tortured statistics released by your administration about uh, unemployment. Uh, Retail sales, uh, especially inflation, and those numbers have no basis in reality whatsoever, my dear. And uh, the fourth estate reports with no questions asked, and the people believe it. <laughs> and uh, if a tax cheat like a guy can be confirmed as uh, 
Secretary of Treasury, we should have no problem getting a course sign confirmed once you nominate him for the position. Uh, but uh, how do we quiet the thousands and thousands of investors that uh, he bankrupted? <clears throat> well, mein Fuhr, this is where her, her cosine's fraud actually works uh, to our benefit. Uh, because uh, all these small investors have been bankrupted and slaughtered. <laughs> they now lack the uh, resources to uh, mount any meaningful legal or media challenges and uh, and uh, once we launch the uh, propaganda campaign now uh, her cosine will be perceived as a victim in this uh, tragedy <laughs> then we will just appoint a uh, a commission to produce a study in a few years and uh, by that time the people will uh, have forgotten about the matter entirely well how soon can uh, senator corzine's reputation be clean. Uh, he has been criticized uh, for too long. Uh, I want to have him cleared in all 58 states uh, so I can appoint him uh, Secretary of Treasury at the end of the year. Um, and I need him fundraising for my campaign right away. <laughs> We've already been helping uh, Senator Corsine locate up office space on the Wall Street and uh, We've been prepping him for his uh, confirmation hearings, and uh, so he should be back uh, raising funds for your re-election campaign within uh, five or six weeks. And uh, recall, Mr. President, that the uh, $1.6 billion that uh, her cosine misappropriated disappeared into J.P. Morgan accounts. And uh, this should, should provide you with an excellent opportunity to... Uh, Aggressively demand uh, campaign contributions from them, eh? Uh, hey. And uh, since I course I'm uh, headed Goldman Sachs, he should be able to extract enormous contributions from Goldman Sachs as they seek to maintain their incestuous relationship with your administration, my dear. Uh, good job, Dr. Strangelove. Uh, uh, when are we meeting again, and what are we going to talk about? Soon, my <laughs> Our next discussion will be on how the administration is going to report a pre-election unemployment rate below 6%, ensuring a victory for you in November. Simply... <laughs> By altering a statistical methodology, I'll be the same one for you. <laughs>